Hello, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a file that someone has sent me and they're having a few problems machining it. Now it looks absolutely fine, but there are a few things that you need to sort out before you can create toolpaths with it. So if I open up toolpaths, you can see that there has been a couple of profile toolpaths that have been basically tried to generate and they've given errors. So that's why they're in red because they haven't calculated. So what I'm going to do is just delete those. And I'm also going to click this button here or this icon here to toggle the material block visibility, just so I can see the screen a little bit better. Now, the guy who wanted to do this, wanted these letters to be standing proud. Now, to do that, what you would normally do is to do an area clearance. But what you need for that is basically a box around the outside so you can sort of create islands on the inside so you can do the area clearance. So I've just created a box or a rectangle so we can do the area clearance. So if I go to area clearance and I'll just select all of the vectors. Just give this a finished depth of let's say 0.1. Let's add a tool. So let's choose my inch tools and let's just use a quarter of an inch. I know that it's not going to work anyway. Select offset and the material thickness is already set up at three quarters of an inch. Calculate now. So this tells you to basically group the vectors. Don't do that because it still won't tell you what the problem is. So just select OK. And it tells you that there was no toolpath created. OK, so what I normally do is normally do this in sections to see which parts have got problems. You can use the vector doctor if you want to. So if I were to open up the vector doctor, make sure that you have the curve tolerance to be the same as whatever the toolpath that you're creating. Turn off coincident points because you don't need them. Select the vectors, select identify, and it will show you all of the points. The green circles are normally coincident points, but it also shows you intersection points. So you can see here, that these points here intersect and there and there. Now, the problem that you've got with that is that because they intersect, the tool wants to machine all of this rectangle, let's say, for instance, but then it wants to come through here to machine all of this, but it can't because there's a line there. So what you need to do is remove the line. So if we automatically remove vector loops. Now, the only reason that I'm doing that is just for this red one that I have here. So you can see how this is looping back on itself. Now, that's just down to the font that was used. So there's not really much that you can do about that. So if I fix the problems, it should fix it. So if I clear the markers and I identify again, you can see that it's not got that red marker but it should still have the other markers on there. Right, so let's sort this out. So first of all, what I want to do is sort out this plant over here on the left. So if I click on one of them, you can see that this is not a closed vector. So I can't do the area clearance on an open vector. So I need to close this. So there are a couple of things that I could do. I could close it and create an area clearance, but because this wall is going to be so thin, it's just going to sort of defeat the object. So I might as well just basically trim that off. So if I click to trim vectors, trim that off. I'll also trim that off and trim that off. Okay, so that's left me with an outline. So if I cancel that, you can see that the tool can machine all the way in here, like so. Now, if you do want some detail to be in there, what you could do is draw a line from, let me turn off 
So you see here, I've clicked on that and it's trying to add it to the line. Now, what I need to do is draw the line, turn off Draw Smooth Polylines, and definitely turn off Add to Existing Line. So if I click there and then click there, what I can do is use just that line as a profile afterwards if I wanted to. So I'll show you how to do that later. So if I select all of that, and I'm going to press Shift and deselect that one, and I need to join this up. So to do that, shortcut is J on the keyboard, or I can go here to join vectors with coincident nodes. So select join, and notice here, originally this tolerance when I opened up the file was set to two inches. And it was making, when I joined it, it was making the shape all skew and it was going all wrong. So set the tolerance back down to about one thing. And you can also see that the number of vectors is two. So that leads me to think that there's still a problem with this. So if I select it, normally you can tell that there's a problem if you can see red marker so see how i can see that red marker at the top there that means that the vector isn't closed so if i zoom in on that point there should be a problem there so see how this is sort of coming back on itself so this isn't any good i can't use this this would give me an error if i tried to machine it so a quick way to sort this out is to go into node editing and then what I'm going to do is press C on the keyboard here. Press it a couple of times. And I'll also press it there a couple of times just to make sure that it's cut. And then I can select both of those vectors there and delete them. Now that I've done that, I can select there. So it's just selected the outsides of that vector. And then I can close the vector with a line or with a curve if I wanted to. And then you can see that now this is definitely closed because I've just got a green circle there, which denotes the start point. Right, so to test that out, what I'm going to do is open up the area clearance, select just that and see if it calculates. So it calculates fine. So I know that I haven't got any problems there. Now I know that these should machine fine, but I'll just check those out as well. Now the reason that that's not working is because the quarter inch M mil is too large to fit in there. So what I'm going to do is select the outside as well. Okay, so that works. So as long as I know that I can create a toolpath, I don't need to worry about those sections. So I don't need to fix them. So let's turn off the tool paths. And then for this plant over on the right hand side, I'm just going to delete that. And then I'm going to select all of that one and I'm going to mirror that across the model. Make sure that I've got copied the original objects and don't need to join the mirrored vectors. So I go across the model and that creates a copy. So now what I can do is select both of those, just double check that they both calculate. Okay, so that's fine. So if I were to select both of those and the rectangles and the outside rectangle, it all should calculate fine. Okay, so that calculates, that's fine. So if I were to turn those off a second and then add the text on there and try to calculate gives me a problem so i know that there's a problem with the text so let's take a look at the text and see what the problem is there so let's select all of that text and let's go to the vector doctor and identify so if i zoom in here it's telling me that there's a problem here so yeah, I can see that there is a problem there. It's got this extra 
line there. I don't know what that's actually doing there. So I'll just select that and delete it. Let's take a look down here. So what's happening here is that I've got two separate lines. So to deal with that, it looks like they both join up fine. So let's select both of them, go back to join. And you can see here it says number of vectors now is two, number of vectors after is one. So join. Those are joined up. Okay, so that's sort of fixed that problem. So I don't think that there are any problems here. The next problem is here. So again, this doesn't look as though it's joined. So I'll leave that for a moment. That's not joined. And then let's take a look here. So that's not joined either. So I think we just need to join all of these up. So quick way to do that, just draw a box around it all. And then let's close the vector doctor, go back to join. And then it's telling me that the number of vectors now is 25, the number of vectors after is 15. So let's join those up. And then let's go to the vector doctor again, identify, and it's not giving me any problems. So I'm hoping that this should machine okay now. So what I'll do is just select the outside box and the alleys guarding and then calculate now. Okay, so that calculates. So we should be all good now. So if I select all of this and then deselect these little lines that I put in and then calculate, gives me what I want. So I can now close that or if you want to get in a little bit further, you can add another tool. So let's maybe add a 16th of an inch tool. Let's calculate that again, just to get into all those smaller areas. Let's simulate that. Okay, so that looks fine. And what's happened is because I've added the rectangle around the outside, it's made all the letters stand proud or all of the inside of that stand proud. Now what I want to do is just put a little bit of detail on these plant pots. So I want to basically create a line across there. So if we delete the simulation and then take a plan view, turn on the vectors again, I'm going to just turn off my tool paths and let's just select that and select that. Now, even though these are intersecting, because I'm using a profile tool path, that can machine something that is an open vector. So you can do that. And because I'm not selecting the outside as well, it's not intersecting with anything. The program doesn't know because I'm just telling it that I just want to machine just this line. So if I go to tool paths, go to create profile tool path, I'll do this along and the finish depth is however far down you want to score this. So let's say I want to do 10 fem. Profiling tool, just use the smallest tool that I have, maybe even a, a V bit or something. And then click create. And that's just followed that line. So now, if we simulate the area clearance, you can see it's like it was before. But now if I simulate the profile, you can see that it's created a line along there. And it's given a little bit of detail. Okay, so that's basically how I fixed this particular file. So I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.